Are you looking to take your homemade drinks to the next level? Forget store-bought syrups and give this simple strawberry syrup a try. Not only is it a more natural alternative, it's surprisingly simple to make. It's perfect for sodas, iced lattes, mocktails or cocktails, etc. And you only need three simple ingredients to make it. Two cups of strawberries, you can use either fresh or frozen strawberries. This would be a great recipe to make during peak strawberry season, but it can also be made in the dead of winter since you can use frozen strawberries. Keep in mind that fresh fruit will cook up quicker, of course. One cup of water. You'll need to add some water to help the strawberries cook. Please use filtered water. One third to two thirds cup of sugar. You can use the lower amount of sugar if you prefer a more tart syrup flavor. The higher amount of sugar will preserve the syrup longer and it will also make a thicker syrup. I personally like to use about half a cup of sugar. If you offer granulated white sugar or cane sugar, then the syrup will have a more vibrant red color. But you can also use sucanat, brown sugar, coconut syrup, maple syrup, honey, etc. Keep in mind that those sweeteners will impart a slight flavor to the final syrup. Okay, let's quickly go over the simple steps to make the strawberry syrup. Obviously, you'll want to begin by washing your fresh berries and removing the green tops. You can skip this step, of course, if you use frozen strawberries. You want two generous cups of cleaned and de-stemmed strawberries. I like to use a liquid two-cup measuring cup for this. Place the strawberries, water, and sugar in a small saucepan. I use this one and a half quart saucepan from Cuisinart and it's just about perfect. I've also used a medium three quart saucepan and that works just fine as well. Place the pan on the stove over medium high heat and bring the mixture to a boil. Turn the heat down so that you maintain a simmer. Stir occasionally to ensure the sugar dissolves and nothing gets burned. My top tip is to mash the strawberries with a mini potato masher as they begin to soften. Simmer for a total of 15 minutes. The mixture should have turned a lovely red color and thickened somewhat. If you feel like there's still a lot of excess water, you can continue to simmer for a few extra minutes in order to reduce it further. Place a fine mesh strainer over a heat proof container. I used a measuring cup since it's easier to pour out of later. Make sure to stir or press the strawberries to extract more flavor. Keep in mind that the final syrup will have more particles in it if you press the strawberries through the fine mesh strainer. You can either save the fruit pulp for smoothies or discard. Now pour the fresh strawberry syrup into an airtight container. I like this flip top bottle because it's fairly easy to pour out of and it's very, very cute. You could also just store it in a mason jar or you can purchase a bottle with a pump to make dispensing it a breeze. Make sure that you select an airtight container to keep out any bacteria or other pathogens that could ruin your homemade syrup. Whichever storage container you choose, you'll want to store this fruit syrup in the refrigerator. Make sure to cool to room temperature before transferring to the fridge. It will keep for around two weeks. Make sure to head over to the blog post for some fun ideas for how to use this strawberry syrup. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out this video next to learn how to make a delicious strawberry milkshake without any ice cream. You can either use fresh strawberry, through the fine mesh strip. Ah, that's a tongue twister.